at the headquarters in Dallas. Be careful, man. You gonna lock up? I'll lock up, yeah. All right. I'll leave it open. Just doing a live video. Didn't see you coming. All right, see you, man. So Orson's gonna go dump on his trailer. Uh, this is the 14-foot trailer, and there's his 16-foot trailer right there. So we just finished the job right here. Uh, that was a $300 for both the refrigerators. 45 and the other one was 45 I brought over here just a second ago. I'm gonna go do a play set. A really heavy set play set, like a big old play set in South Lake, Texas in just a second. But uh, here's the refrigerators that we picked up. Right here. Whew. So just looking at, this is the trailer we used yesterday. We're here at the facility again. This is the trailer we used yesterday. We had a hot tub, a fridge. We picked up some other stuff from another location. And then this is what we did Monday. That thing is packed. I don't even want to open that. I don't even want to open that. We are putting water in the radiator, um, changing the oil on this truck right now. I'm about to leave in that truck. So we just finished that job. There's all the oil down there. And what I like to do is when I get to the facility is walk around and just check everything's okay. Uh, this truck, I don't know. We fixed it. Nobody uses it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We just know we fixed it. That's all that matters to us. We just fixed it. So, one of those days, it's hot out here today. But, getting things done. So, the 40-yard dumpster was here, by the way. 40-yard dumpster left. They're bringing back another one today. So, one driver takes one, and one driver swaps it out for another one. So, that's how it's going to work out. So, this is a daily routine that we run here at Junk Ice in DFW Dallas. So we're at the Dallas facility. I'm heading over to the Fort Worth facility in a few minutes. I'm going to go uh, power wash some of the walls on the inside, maybe some of the walls on the outside. So i got to move this stuff right now. So when they drop the dumpster, they drop it right here. Uh, there's the 350. We don't even use that truck for no reason. But not, not because we don't we just have our favorites, right? And this is our favorite right now. 550 goes everywhere with us right now. It's running really, really good. That's why I wanted to change the oil while I was running, you know what I mean? So, that thing, he left the keys inside that thing. Uh, and there's Orson's 16 foot trailer really fast. I showed y'all that in a minute, a minute ago. Look at that. This is 16 footer. God, it's packed down. What a huge job Monday. He filled up his, I filled up mine. It was a huge job. The mini dumpster with cardboard, the mini dumpster back there with recycling, and the mini dumpster that we rent over here. And of course, you can't see it because it's camouflage. That is the Humvee and the compass. We put it up on blocks because we're going to put uh, oil in it. We do this all at one time. But here's the Hummer. <laughs> the Hummer's cool, man. I love driving it. When it's nice because we don't have the doors and stuff for it and here's the inside of the facility so this is kind of crammed up this is all the stuff from the eviction these are all the tools that we have these are the tools that we got free from the eviction just stuff that's laying around that we don't want to really deal with i mean like i told you we got free stuff from the eviction you know what i mean a lot of stuff that we don't want to mess with or deal with is around here right now we'll eventually get around to it to cleaning it up but this is also where we had the uh, summit Right in here. That's a mess right now. It's bad. It's a mess. I don't even like going in there right now. Eventually, we'll get to cleaning it up. As soon as uh, we start with the haunted house in Fort Worth, we'll be able to start cleaning up the haunted house in Dallas and we'll get ready to go. So, just wanted to tell you this is how our day goes on a daily basis. Uh, we're always, you know, getting stuff ready. But what I do. Uh, like to do is like every couple of days. I like to start these trucks up. So we're going to the 350 the uh, And we just start it up just to be sure it's still y You know the thing about diesel trucks is that you always have to Start them up every once every two weeks something like that. Here goes. Watch this it Sounds awesome. This truck always sounds good No check engine lights or anything like that. It just starts like that Every, every one of the trucks start like that. The 450, I started that this morning. The, the Humvee started like that this morning. And the F550, I'll show you the F550 right now. 
so I just start it up. I usually let it run for a while, actually, like 30, 40 minutes. Oh, that was an old Coke. Uh, it sucks that the dumpster's not here, you know? I wonder where those guys are. That's what I'm waiting for. Dang it. Anyway, put that up. Put this four-way up. It's just sitting here in the middle of nowhere. Put it under here so it won't get wet. Keep all the dollies over there, four ways over there. Anyway. There's the red trailer, my original trailer, which used to be yellow. So let's go to the F550 and try to start that. So always wait, it warms up, and then we crank it. Like a glove, love that. And then we'll go over to the Hummer. We'll start that one up too. We always start the Hummer every like every other day. The Hummer is a tricky vehicle because if you don't start the Hummer, that thing will not turn on. But it always does. That's what's crazy about it. I just read somewhere that you got to start it almost every other day, right? And then I don't know who this guy was saying that, but let me see. Get underneath it. So we're at the Hummer right now. I just wait until that light turns off. Crank it up and it should crank. <sighs> it's hot. And the Humvee's on. Oh, look, it doesn't even blow out smoke or nothing. Run. Nice, it doesn't shake. You know, one thing is that the Humvee's really loud. I bought it as a marketing tool for junk ice. Put my logo on it. I even put it on the building. See? junk eyes and the logos on the inside and uh it didn't matter but i bought it the humber just to for marketing reasons and like i said it always starts up man. so i'll put this little clip back on here and i'll be on my way hold on guys i just broke the clip that sucks gotta get another clip later on all right guys i'm gonna head out to fort worth I'm going to unload all those fridges. I got three fridges, two commercial and one normal. I'm out.